Y'all, let me tell you what I just did. I have my camera precariously placed so I couldn't see if this was recording or not. So I literally just recorded a whole video and it did not actually physically record. So round two in action. Hello, hello, hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen this cute little face before, that's okay. That's fine. I forgive you. You're here now. That's all that matters. So today I'm actually going to do kind of a two-part review. So I'm actually going to be reviewing the KKW fragrances in, that is also a collab with Jeff Lethem. And then I'm also going to be reviewing the Billie Eilish perfume that is just self-titled Billie Eilish. So if you want to see my thoughts on them and if they are worth your hard-earned coin, definitely stay tuned and keep watching and let's go. Let's say you are like me and you are always on the hunt for the next latest and greatest thing in the beauty world and you're on Instagram, chances are you probably follow Trend Mood. So Trend Mood has basically anything up and coming beauty related products and they usually try to give you like a heads up, sneak peek, whatever you want to call it. So they actually put up this post, maybe I'll put it like over here or something and this was showing the KKW fragrances. Now I will say I was first intrigued by them by the bottles because they kind of look like cute little diffusers and I buy like little diffusers, candles, all that kind of stuff because I love it as decor. So first thing that goes through my head was ooh what a mood. Hashtag aesthetically pleasing. Okay so that was the first thing that went through my head. Second thing was I started to actually read and see what the ingredients were, what uh, like scent families that they fit into and I was like oh these actually sound like they might smell really good too. Let's get into the specs for everything. Play the box, the packaging, all of that. So, so this is the iconic gardenia, and the box actually opens kind of like a flower. So it's got the KKW Jeff Lethem collab um, label here. It has a little box that is split down the middle. I think this is kind of like a little magnet, and then you just pull them apart, and oh, it opens like a flower. And then right here on this little cushion is the fragrance. So these are all one ounce. Now, you can get them individually for $40 each, I'm going to say they're each an ounce, or you can get the whole bundle for $110. If the scent lasts, I do think getting three of them for $110 is a really great price for it, and obviously if you want to just get one of them, I think $40 is a great price as well. So, besides the bottles being so cute, let me show you these without breaking them. Besides these looking like little pots of happiness. They're adorable, um, but they actually smell really good. I'm very pleasantly surprised. So let's run through each fragrance and then I'll tell you kind of like top, middle, notes, whatever, um, scent family that they belong in, how I like it, if I like it, whatever. And yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Iconic Gardenia. So it's this little guy that comes in the white and the top notes are going to be honeysuckle, mandarin, and orange blossom. The mid notes are gardenia, tuberose, and jasmine. And then the dry notes in this are vanilla, orchid, tonka bean, and sandalwood. Now, I will say out of the three, whereas I do like it, I think this one's probably my least favorite. Now, it is very clean, fresh, bright, floral, but it borderlines, it's so heavy on the gardenia that I feel like it borderlines old lady. So remember back in the day, I don't know if y'all do or not, but back in the day I feel like they were super strong, sometimes very floral or like really musky, but sometimes very floral fragrances. This is what this gives me kind of vibes of. So like I said, super heavy on the gardenia. It's pretty, it's sweet, it's very floral, but I don't know. Something about it is like, it feels like it can get kind of overwhelming and overpowering. Now, I will say I have used these, um, I've been using them off and on for the past like two weeks now or so. And I think the last lasting power in these, especially for the price point, especially considering who makes them, uh, I think they're great. I think they do actually last hours on end and especially in combination with like a fragranced body wash, body butter cream, whatever and layering it like that, I definitely think you get the most out of the scents and I think they last really, really long, especially longer than some of the other perfumes that I do have. So Iconic Gardenia, if you are looking for just like a bright, floral, fresh kind of a fragrance, I think you would actually love that one. 
So the next one is kind of the one that really made me want to even buy this bundle and it's this little guy that comes in kind of like this brown. This is the Caramel Orchid. Now the top notes in this are Cocoa Absolute, Salted Caramel, and Davana. Not really sure what Davana is, but the mid notes are Ylang Absolute, Blue Heliotrope, and Jasmine. Understood virtually none of that. And the dry notes are going to be Vanilla Tincture, Cashmere Woods, and Musks. So what sets this one apart from a lot of other fragrances is that the fact that although it is sweet, it is sweet, it's gourmand, it's decadent, but it also has a little bit of like that muskiness to it, which kind of elevates it. So the caramel is really prominent and it pairs really well with that. So it smells like a very expensive gourmand kind of a scent. So I've been using this one when I go to bed obsessed with it. I think this pairs really well. I actually have the Laura Mercier cream in amber vanilla and this pairs so well with it and smell like a snack. <laughs> You're already a snack but this legitimately makes you smell like a delicious dessert of a snack. And last but certainly not least is one of my favorite ones out of this. This one and the caramel are kind of like toss-ups to me but I feel like I've been gravitating toward the rare fig more which is rare fig. <laughs> so this is this little guy. The picture kind of showed it as like a chocolatey brown, so I wore a chocolatey brown lip. Looking at it, this is not that, but not a big deal. Top notes are blood orange, mandarin, and lemon. The mid notes are geranium oil, cyclamen, and greenhouse air accord. It's not like they just made up some because I have no idea what that is. <laughs> and the dry notes are vetiver, cedarwood, and dried fig. Basically this has a little bit of everything in this one. It has a little fruitiness, it's got a little freshness and it has a little bit of like a woodsy to this one. So I feel like this is kind of all encompassing. So this gives me expensive vibes. Like she's expensive. Like she, I like this one. This one is so good. This one pairs really, really well with florals as well as if you have anything else that's a little bit more of like a woodsy. This pairs off really well. The sweetness of this is balanced out really well with like the vetiver and the cedar wood. Sometimes cedarwood, vetiver, things like that um, can be kind of overpowering on their own. But I feel like with just having something in contrast, like mandarin, lemon, and fig, like all of that is a little bit sweeter. So these in combination kind of balance each other out. So it doesn't really pull either way as far as like it doesn't get too woodsy, it doesn't get too sweet florally, anything like that. So this is really just like the perfect balance in my opinion. I do think, like I said, this lasts such a long time and it smells expensive. Something about the ingredients that they use and maybe the way that they have paired everything, I feel like this smells like a staple fragrance for sure. And this smells like if you pass by somebody, they would probably hunt you down and be like, girl, what is that? Like, that smells so good. So definitely recommend them. And I think they are more than worth your hard earned money. The last fragrance we're gonna talk about, which I don't know, I was gonna do a whole separate video on its own, but I figure, whatever, we're gonna make this a whole fragrance video, video, okay? So this is the Billie Eilish perfume. You guys look at each other here. Let me tell you about the specs on this one. Now the bottle's a little bit heavier. It's this beautiful like gold bust here, and once again, y'all know I shop with my eyes first before my mind, and I immediately saw this as a beautiful piece of decor, despite it being a fragrance as well, and then I saw it's a fragrance, it's like, all right, win-win, okay? So, Billie Eilish, I think she's so talented, by the way. I don't really know why she released a fragrance. I don't know if she's, like, really into fragrances, but she sings really well. I don't know. Whatever. I decided, honestly, on the bottle alone, I would take a chance. Let's talk about this one. So first, besides it being beautiful, this falls into the gourmand category. This is just self-titled Eilish. So it says, Eilish is a captivating amber gourmand that attracts you with a warm magnetic sensual scent that is for everyone and this is only $68 for a 3.4 ounce. What? <laughs> As my would say, what? So the fact that you get a whole 3.4 ounce for $68 I think is a great deal. I feel like it lasts literally all day. Let's talk about now what it smells like while I'm telling you how good it smells, okay? The top notes of this are delicate sugared petals accented by juicy mandarin and red berries and this will invite you to experience the alluring scent. The heart notes, um, as far as the heart notes go, it says immerse yourself in the heart of the fragrance as it unfolds with soft spices, rich cocoa, and creamy vanilla. 
Now when it says about the base notes, it says sleek woods and alluring musk leaves a lasting impression that is warm, sensual, and powerfully you. Doesn't that just sound nice? It sounds nice. Now it still gives you like that warmth. It gives you that gourmand because it is like a decadent and delectable. Good word, huh? It's very sweet. I will say it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Now, because it is woodsy, I feel like that does balance off that sweet and makes it a little bit more of an expensive kind of a scent. But I've been obsessed with this lately. I don't necessarily know what I was expecting from Billie Eilish, because I don't know. I didn't really see her wearing something that smells like this, but it's giving. I think it's great. I think it is great for the price, and I do feel like the scent has lasted really, really well on this one as well. So I would also give this a two thumbs up to go get price-wise, scent-wise, it lasts. I have also been obsessed with this too. Main takeaway here is that the last four fragrances, if you count each of the KKW ones separately, have all been bangers. We've been shooting, not missing, and I'm actually really, really pleased and happy with these latest fragrance purchases. So, if you have some KKW fragrance or if you try like the Billie Eilish one, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you like them. Let me know if there's any other fragrances you guys are excited that are maybe up and coming that I haven't seen or if you want me to test out any other ones. And other than that, yeah, love that love that for us. I love that for us because now I'm happy because I have these fragrances and I can tell you guys that it is worth it. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you like it, share it with your friends, subscribe if anything, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.